episode in our web series that examines the Oracle Business Intelligence applications. The BI Apps team at KPI have been releasing a series of recordings, webinars, blogs, and ebooks that take a deep dive into Oracle's analytic applications, release 11.1.1.7.1. In this episode, we will be exploring what's new in the employee expenses area of Oracle Financial Analytics. In the case you may not know, KPI Partners is the most experienced strategic consulting and systems implementation firm focused on OBIEE, the Oracle BI applications, Hyperion, and DECA, and Exalytics. As an Oracle Platinum partner, the experts at KPI have successfully completed the most complex implementations of Oracle BI in the world. Along the way, KPI has been honored with the Oracle Titan Award, the Oracle Excellence Award, and as Oracle Specialized Partner of the Year. KPI is also recognized as one of the fastest growing companies in America. To receive notification of when we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series, please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. Your presenter for this session will be Miles Gilsenin, a KPI Practice Director and member of KPI's BI Applications team. Welcome to this presentation regarding what's new in BI Apps Financial Analytics 111171. I am Miles Gilson and I'll be presenting today. I'm the Southeast Practice Director for KPI Partners. For today's agenda, we will cover a brief intro to the BI Apps, a summary of what is new in the latest release of BI Apps Financial Analytics. Then we will focus on the Employee Expenses module and review what is included in it, who uses it, and why. Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, or OBI for short, is a comprehensive, innovative, and leading BI technology platform. Oracle Business Intelligence applications are complete, pre-built BI solutions, solutions that deliver intuitive role-based intelligence for everyone in an organization. OBI is the platform. OBI Apps is the solution. OBI by itself comes with no pre-built content. It is essentially the delivery mechanism. It is like a blank newspaper. Oracle BI applications is like all the content for your newspaper the headlines, stories, charts, and graphs. Basically, the Oracle BI applications are a series of prepackaged BI solutions constructed to cover several different functional areas. These prepackaged solutions also contain the plumbing to suck out the data from our favorite ERP systems and present data to the user via pre-built dashboards and reports, customized dashboards and reports, or via ad hoc queries. In this section, we will review what is new in Financial Analytics 11171. The 11171 version of Financial Analytics includes three new content areas, fixed assets, budgetary control, and employee expenses. Taken together, these three content areas account for three new dashboards, 29 new dashboard pages, 11 new subject areas, and 303 new reports. This is a significant increase to the functionality in this BI app. Let's now take a look at the Employee Expense Module. The Employee Expenses Module provides a rich and powerful single access point for visibility and control of enterprise-wide employee expenses. Additionally, it also provides pre-built reports related to the overall submission and approval process. It is an effective management tool for executives as well as employee and cost center managers. It provides current as well as historical views of employee expenses and enables action to be taken by expense managers. We will now review what specifically the Employee Expenses Module includes. The Employee Expense Module has four dashboard pages, each of which reviews employee expenses from a different perspective and with a different follow-up action in mind. The first dashboard page is the Overview page and provides a broad perspective of employee expense trends as well as process trends. This page would be used by executives to understand year-over-year -year spending and ensure processes are efficient. The next dashboard page for the Employee Expenses Module is devoted to employee managers. It provides useful summaries of employee expense spending by individual and lets managers more effectively manage their team's expenditures. It also provides process-related reporting, like who is submitting expense reports late and how long does it take to fully process an expense report. The Cost Center Expenses page shifts the management perspective to people responsible for managing cost center expenses but not necessarily the employees themselves. The reports provided as part of this dashboard page allow a cost center manager to have easy access to summarized employee expense information without manual intervention. They also allow a cost center manager to review the submission and approval process and take corrective process action quickly. The 
The final dashboard page takes a process perspective and has reports that provide a historical view of the timing and size of employee-related expenditures. Reports on this dashboard page can be used to assess process improvement over time, as well as to monitor overall employee expense spend. We will now review who uses this information and why. As discussed, the Employee Expenses module has been developed to provide visibility, insight, and control from multiple perspectives. Executives will use these dashboard pages to make strategic decisions regarding enterprise employee expense spending and to monitor year-over-year -year spending. Call center managers will be able to take proactive action to control expenses and will understand process issues. Employee managers will have an easy single access point for managing the expenses of their team and taking action where necessary. In summary, the Employee Expenses module provides visibility into all employee expenses via a single portal and allows executives and managers to more effectively monitor, control, and take action related to employee expenses. So in summary, the new version of financial analytics includes three new content areas, fixed assets, budgetary control, and employee expenses. Taken together, these three content areas account for three new dashboards, 29 new dashboard pages, 11 new subject areas, and too many new reports to count. This is a significant increase to the functionality in this BI analytics application. If your organization is working towards an Oracle Business Intelligence solution and you feel KPI Partners may be able to add some value to your efforts, please reach out to us through kpipartners.com and we will have a member of our customer care team assist you with any questions you may have. We also invite you to visit our webpage for our web series on examining the Oracle BI applications. Check out all of our recordings, ebooks, webinars, and articles on the latest version of the Oracle BI apps. It's at kpipartners.com slash BI apps. To receive notification, we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series. Please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. That's kpipartners.com slash blog. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at KPI Partners. We appreciate you joining us for this session. Take care.